Hi guys, welcome back to our Paramotor Geometry classroom. It seems like this classroom is almost finished, but we are back because we need to update a few videos. At least five of those chapters that we covered previously are wrong, or at least incomplete. This is the update to the part 20 of the Paramotor Geometry classroom. Please make sure you have watched the parts 18, 19 and 20 before you watch this chapter. The reason why we need to update a few of the chapters is the paramotor that I'm having on my back. It's the new Scout NXT. It incorporates a few innovations and uh, new geometry solutions. So, and we will cover and explain these in the next few chapters. This is a quick recap where we finished in the chapter 20. So these are the two options that paramotor designers can choose from. Both have benefits and disadvantages. The parallel construction is less efficient, potentially unsafe and, uh, and slower in the air, but better for ground handling. For the design of the current Scout model, I chose this option because I prioritize safety efficiency and speed of flight in the air and, and uh, characteristics in the air, but we had to accept some disadvantages for ground handling. It was less than optimal. I was always thinking about whether we do have to accept these disadvantages, whether there is a solution that could have the benefits of both concepts without the disadvantages that they come with. One solution is basically to detach the harness at the bottom, that is to increase the gap, get, uh, get the harness away from the paramotor, which would mean that it is kind of the parallel construction for ground handling, great, and in the air, your, the harness would move away from the motor to have more uh, to have more reclined position. Fact is, this solution is no good, nor on the ground, nor in the air. The main problem is when it's detached at the bottom, the the straps here are too long or are missing completely. On the takeoff, in the final phase of the takeoff, when you go on full power the torque would simply twist the motor on the back and the motor, is, the, the whole frame is kind of detached from the pilot's body. There's less feedback from the glider, less feedback from the motor, and it just doesn't feel very well. Same in the air if you add throttle quickly, the motor is just not a unison with the pilot. Uh, which it definitely should be. But I finally found the solution, and that is the harness remains attached to the frame, but the frame changes the geometry. The solution is called variable frame geometry. To show you the variable geometry design on an actual product, this is the Scout NXT, this is the new model. And uh, let me show you how the variable frame geometry works in real. This is the new model, the Scout NXT. You see the bottom part moves and changes the angle. Pushing it back with my butt, this is the position for, take, for ground handling and takeoff. The back is nicely parallel with the prop, good position, good view into the glider, great ground handling, easy run. Right after takeoff, as the, as the risers pull the bars upwards, this is gonna happen. The seat goes up and forward and the back goes away, creating nice reclined curve for a comfortable flight. This solution combines both great ground handling, great comfort in the, in the air without the disadvantages that we were used to before. I got this idea on a flight from Dubai to Bratislava three years ago and actually this geometry is pretty much the same as on the seats of the Airbus 320. So to make a final summary and comparison, the other, these are the two solutions that we covered previously in the part 20. Parallel frame, 
ideal for ground handling, not so much in the air. Built-in angle, just as, on, just as I used on the Scout one. Ideal in the air, not, not ideal on the ground. Separated harness seem to be kind of a solution, but in my opinion, it's just, it just feels too sketchy, unattached, loses, uh, takes away the feedback from the glider, and uh, I, I never liked it. Um, but the variable geometry, just as on the Scout NXT, seems to combine the benefits of both. The Scout NXT has a lot more features that are brand new and innovative. So stay with us. In the next chapter, I want to explain completely redesigned harness like no other. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much for hitting the like button.